be in pain. Do you ever get used to people like, all, you know, getting your hair down, your makeup and everything? Um, I mean, I think nine years in, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm kind of, at first it was a bit like, oh, everyone's like jumping around the place, but now I'm a lot more used to it. So nine years in, you say, mm. 2013, you were last here with the boys. Like, oh, you wow. were here I'm, before that, obviously on your own, but can you believe you actually performed here with One Direction? Just see Yeah, I, I, did we only ever do one or two? I'm not sure, I can't remember how many we did, but yeah, it was kind of later on down the line of our career, actually, I think, more than anything. But um, yeah, doing it again by myself. I mean, I, I actually was looking the other day and we broke the we were on the, the record breaking for doing 22 times sold out here, which is the same as Take That, which is the top I think it's been done. But I've then played here however many times since, so I think I hold the record. Yes, so you I'm, are I'm the, just throw it in there. You are the best one D member. That is is that derogatory? Maybe, but also um, I don't know, I'm gonna take it though, why not? <laughs> you said it, not me. And isn't it lovely that you get to come to these things and reunite with mates that you know used to be in the same band as you? Yeah, I know. I'm at Harry's dressing room's just down the way from me, actually. I mean, it's great to hang out with everybody. I do like about the, the atmosphere in that hallway is quite nice, and you can see who is around. And you actually realise, well, for me, I realise I've got a lot more friends in this business than I realised, which is quite cool. I was like, ah, oh, a few people I can say those to today. That's so nice. Yeah, we don't want you being lonely, lonely no, with pain. Need we don't want that. Yeah. Uh, last time I spoke to you, we did talk about that watermelon word that we saw on Twitter, and now he's dropped it. Do you, get as, do you get as excited as we do about that kind of thing? Um, I mean, I get excited for all the boys, if I'm honest. It's just nice to see, um, you know, all the different styles of music and seeing what everyone's going to do next. Um, because they're never really in line with each other, which is the funniest thing about the whole situation. But, um, you know, I mean, Niall dropped a song yesterday as well, which I thought was really good. I like Niall's song a lot. And his piano playing is amazing at the moment as well. I, I wish a little video he'd done on his, on his thing. It's good. That's so nice. Now, I haven't seen you since you were posing in your undercrackers, mister. Yes. You are now a sex symbol, model, fashion icon. <laughs> That's quite cool. Uh, it was very cool. I mean, it was something I definitely wanted to do at some point um, because I've just seen so many different, you know, icons that I look up to, you know, like Beckham, Mark Wahlberg, have all done that kind of things. So, uh, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo as well. So I was like, yeah, I definitely want to have a go at that. Did um, you slip into their DMs or WhatsApps to ask them any advice about Well, I've been training with, with Mark. I went in the gym with him uh, a while ago and we were talking about it. And yeah, when I actually got onto set, they showed me his, uh, his photo as like a, uh, what do they call it? A... Um, uh, prompt you one that you go, this is what I wanted to look like, sort of thing. Yeah. So, d d were you concerned about making it look like other people's ones, or do you just want to do your own thing? No, I kind of did my own thing with it, really, and that's how I ended up very naked, so... And we I mean, we did love that. Thank you very much indeed for that. You're welcome. Uh, and were you nervous about your family seeing it, and, like, your mates, and what reaction you were going to get? A little bit. I, I mean, when I was thinking, you don't really think about these things when you're doing them. So you just get on with it, because it's the job, that's the job today. The job today is photographs, and you, the, you might be naked, that was it. Whereas then, like, when people ask me about it, I do get a bit embarrassed, like, thinking, like, wherever I walk in a room, there's a good chance people have seen me very nude. Yeah, I don't know where to look, if I'm honest mm. with you. <laughs> <laughs> do you send your mum a WhatsApp, like, mum, look, I'm going to be honest no, with my, you. No, my mum hit me on the head here, actually. It was in, in, in that, and it might be in the same dressing room I'm in now. And um, I was about to go on to perform with Rita, as it was her first time at the O2. And my, I showed my dad, and my mum went to the toilet, because I thought my dad would be, like, all right with it. Quite, quite yes, modern, son, quite, yes, quite modern my father, he was like, all right with it. Um, but then when mum came out of the toilet, I was like, what are you looking at? And when I showed her, she just looked at me, tutted, and then hit me around the ear, so that was that. Literally, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> love that. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm just stuck in the school at home, going. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs>